Hello, and welcome to the first video in a new series taking a practical look at the OSPF protocol. A few weeks ago, I asked you how deep you wanted to get with the OSPF protocol. Most of you responded saying you wanted me to teach OSPF enough to make you a practical engineer. So that'll be the goal of this series. We're going to aim to teach you OSPF in a modern and practical way with the goal of making you a confident network engineer. For those of you studying for your CCNA, we are definitely going to cover 100% of what you'll need for your CCNA. For those of you studying for your CCNP, we're probably going to cover 95% of what you need for your CCNP. That remaining 5% might be a few commands or features that Cisco thinks it's very important for you to know, but those features might not get much use in a modern production network. So there might be a little bit of extra studying and memorizing you're going to have to do. Either way, the stated goal of this series is to make you confident with OSPF, and to achieve that goal, I'm going to need you to be involved. Ask questions in the comments. Show me what you want out of this series. And if you watch a video and you don't have any questions, great, drop a note of thanks. That'll help me out with the YouTube algorithm. Before you start watching this series, there's a few prerequisites that you might want to check out. First, the Networking Fundamentals series. That series should be the starting point for anyone looking to learn anything in the networking industry. But in particular, check out the three lessons on routers, where we discuss routers and what they do. You'll also want to check out my overview of dynamic routing protocols, where we unpack the ideas of EGPs and IGPs and distance vector protocols and link state protocols. And finally, my routing precedence video, where I discuss how a router chooses its best path and demonstrate the effects of admin distance and metrics. Once you've checked out those videos, then you'll be ready to dive into the practical OSPF series. And I am thrilled to be your instructor on this journey. Thank you for watching this introduction. And as always, you can help me reach a wider audience by liking, subscribing, and leaving comments on the videos. Thank you again, and we'll see you in the first lesson.